All right, guys, we're out here today, going trying to do a little fishing. Wasn't sure how the weather would be, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Going like, to cruise along the beach, see if we can find some cobia, Spanish, uh, stuff like that. Pretty crazy. We don't normally get to the boat ramp this late, but uh, it's kind of how the tides worked out today, and it is packed out here. It's crazy. Boaters all over the place. Boat ramp full. I'm going to take my dad a while to find a spot. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. All you can do, I guess. But here we go, let's go catch some fish. All right guys, just made it past the jetties and uh, we see a lot of bird activity, a lot of birds diving probably on some bait so we're gonna put out the spoons and see see what we can find mark some bait just now it's 71 degrees the bait was about 15 feet actually there's some about 10 to 20 and a little bit even deeper there's a lot of birds scattered about uh, yeah I think that's bait like I, I'm marking it it's gotta be like scattered Scattered fogies. Look right to your right. Yeah. I told her I'm gonna come back and do one. Okay. Did it, did it pop it loose? Yeah. It's a good time. So we've heard the crab traps. They put crab traps out this time of year on the, the beach, and a lot of times you can find triple tail by them. Um, you know, I've heard that in other places. I haven't actually caught them up here doing it, but this is the first time I've seen the crab traps. So maybe we'll come across one. What do you think the triple tail leaf water hanging up there? I don't know, maybe some glass minnows or something hanging around the buoys, I don't know. Got one on the planer? Yeah. Fighting pretty strong. Yeah. Oh, big old blue. You got it? You need it. Again, uh, same, same two rods as last time. Uh -huh. Spinner and the got or spinner on a planer, gold, gold spin on a planer, and the got there. Hey, the big one. It'd be nice to have in the Kingfish tournament. Wonder what it is with the right side of the boat. Or, sorry, left side. Left side is the right side. Of the boat. Left side's the uh, port side's catching them up. There we go, bluefish little bites. Okay guys, ran down the beach, down south a little bit, just to see what we can find. And we got some birds right here, so we stopped. We're gonna put out the spoons, see if we can catch any fish over here. Mark some bait too, so that's a good sign. So uh, if I was kind of slow back there, we wanted to just see, see what it was like over here, see what we could find. So we'll see how we do. Yeah, I think right about there, see where it's a little dark. Must be a little bait pod. Yeah, that's a bait pod. Yeah, I was marking some. So we should, uh, hopefully we'll get a bite. Fish on. Man, he's pretty good, whatever he is. This one has a mono leader. I don't know if that's why it's getting more hits. Uh, I thought that one, that one was a uh, wire. So, 
there are some bluefish in this area, so that's good to know. Man, that wind's kicking out here, though. All right, Dan's hooked up. Yeah. That little lure, big old tangle hassle for us today. Dang. Getting rough out here. Going on? On the gotcha? On the gotcha. Gotcha got him. I get the boat. Oh, that was close. Check it out, guys. Right as we are coming through all that bait, that is when we get the fish on. No surprise, right? Blue? Blue. Dang, last time it was all Spanish and this time it's all bluefish. I'll loop back through there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can kind of see, sometimes it's hard to see with clouds putting shadows, but it's a dark spot in the water. And that's the, that's the bait pod. Yeah, we kind of just went through a little one, so I can see one over there. You probably, it's hard to see on camera, I'm sure. Um, and again, with like shadows and stuff, it can be real hard to see. But seeing those, and usually you see like like birds up top over it. The birds kind of get you in the area, and then you can uh, find it from there. Don't know why we're catching so many bluefish in those Spanish, and last time, we were in a very similar situation and caught some Spanish, you know, maybe like one bluefish the whole time. Oh yeah, just went over some bait. Ah. Feels like it, he's a pretty strong, pretty strong fighter. Oh yeah, look at him. You can actually see him coming in the waves. Oh dang, he just popped off. The bluefish. Got one on this side. That's the camera over there. Yeah. Spanish or? Uh, bluefish. Fly, fly bluefish. <laughs> Close one. All right, guys. Caught some fish over there. Came back up to the jetties. There's a little bit more of a tide rip now than there was earlier in the day. So we're just gonna make some passes around the tide rip, see if we see anything. Last year there were a lot of manta rays cruising the tide rip. So we might see a cobia, might get some Spanish. We'll see, it's getting pretty rough, so I don't know how long we'll be here, but we'll give it a little shot. Yeah. Pretty strong fish. Good news is, guys, once you get in these jetties, it's gonna calm down. So. It is howling out with rough in the river coming in. 
But uh, overall, it was a good day. We caught some bluefish. That was really cool. Got a good mess of bluefish, one Spanish. Pretty much the opposite of last week. Trolling um, spoons and uh, gotcha plugs. And we tried the bird. But the problem with the bird this time was that uh, I think because of it being a lot windier and rougher, the bird wasn't able to skip and it was flipping and ended up getting tangled a couple times. So we pulled it out of the mix. Just ran gotcha plugs and uh, some spoons. The spoons with the mono were doing a lot better too. Then we had one with a wire leader and we switched to both mono. So you know, that's one thing to keep in mind. And that's why I like to vary it up, you know, usually between the color of the spoons. Like I'll start out with a gold, a silver. One might have a wire leader, one may not. And then, you know, having the uh, uh, bird and the gouch plug and start out with a good variety and then work your way down, depending on what they're hitting, just focus on using a bunch of those lures. So. Hope you guys learned some stuff about catching bluefish, you know, looking at the birds, marking the bait, stuff like that. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you, see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.